Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I thought I'd do a video today of Givata Tanakh. I've done a video here before, but I thought I'd bring out my new favorite camera toy, the Femi Pam 2, and also try to uh, see what the recording quality looks like in 4K for a change. Usually I'm shooting in 1080p, which is uh, basically lower resolution. So this is the first station here, which is um, one of the entertainment complexes in Jerusalem. Now, Givata Tanakh literally means Bible Hill. The Tanakh is a Hebrew acronym for Torah, Nevi'im, Ketuvim. Uh, basically the Old Testament for people unfamiliar with the divisions of the books. And Givata Tanakh is one of the few exposed hilltops here in Jerusalem. And it's undeveloped, which in Jerusalem is like not so many places like this. It's a really nice little place to come. People are walking their dogs, youngsters. Youngsters, I sound like an old fogey here. I'm 32, but uh, teenagers are coming here sometimes to just hang out, whatever. So according to GoJerusalem.com, uh, the hill's curious name comes from its association with a passage in the book of Joshua delineating the territory of the Israelite tribe of Judah. Then the boundary ascended into the valley of Hinnom, Hinnom along the southern flank of the Jebusites, that is Jerusalem. The boundary then ran up to the top of the hill which flanks the valley of Hinnom on the west at the northern end of Emek Rephaim. Uh, so there you go, that's a bit of history. So that is the one side, it's not a particularly big uh, space here, but it is uh, pretty much unsullied by human development. And what you're seeing there off to the left, that's the Scottish church. It's a church owned by the uh, Church of Scotland. And they have a hotel up there. And they also have a, um, uh, there's a church. That is the church. And for those who are, know their flags you'll notice the scottish flag flying i got married not exactly in the church obviously but uh just a little bit in front of the church that's where my wife and i had our wedding um and they're opening a wine bar soon which is going to be quite cool they also have a property in tiberia which is uh, tiberius in english um so this is kind of its smaller jerusalem counterpart if you will as you can see it's pretty overgrown here there's a few of these little spots like this in and around Jerusalem. So where we're looking now is looking off to the east. That is the uh, Dan Boutique Hotel, which I've mentioned before. And where we're going to get up to in a second is gonna be a tremendous view looking eastward. So as usual, I make these videos, it's about four o'clock here. I tend to do these when I kind of wrapped up work for the day. And this is looking eastward here. And that is looking out over Silwan and East Jerusalem. So some people don't like the name East Jerusalem because I think in the right wing, Israeli world is considered uh, ineffable because it's considered to grant legitimacy, legitimacy to the idea of East Jerusalem being a separate city. I personally don't buy into that because anyone who spent any time going around East Jerusalem knows that effectively it does function as a separate city. So that is their fact on the ground, whether you like that fact or not. It is a city, but the vast majority, there's a few Jewish settlements in there. But the vast majority of its residents consider themselves Arab Palestinians, regard Israel as a foreign occupier, etc., etc. Uh, when I went to Abu Tor a few days ago for this YouTube channel, all you see is Palestinian flags on the roads. Uh, so this is Givata Tanakh. Really, really nice uh, sunset skies here. That is the Orient Hotel. Orient, one of the uh, Israel Hotel properties and this luxury hotel. I think it's four star. They've got where you can see there, um, the little cube on the roof is a rooftop restaurant slash place to take some sun. Looking southbound now, those towers in the distance are towers in Gilo. So Gilo is technically over the green line and just after Gilo, there's a place called Har Gilo. Gilo is one of the rig neighborhoods of Jerusalem, which are neighborhoods around the periphery that Jerusalem has built. Uh, they're all considered by the international community settlements etc etc <clears throat> not exactly sure what this is i doubt this is of uh, historic import just by the graffiti just a random structure up here and uh not so many people are up here i don't think a lot of people know about this coming back to the view eastward so this i'm losing track of my bearings now northwest this is the old city of jerusalem uh just past the church and you can see there the walls of the old city which date back to the early 16th century built by Suleiman the Magnificent. I'm not such a history buff, 
but as I'm researching these YouTube videos, I'm like learning, I'm like learning these bits of info, which is uh, quite fun. History is cool. Um, so getting back to this view, you can see, as is often the case, the separation barrier there. Here we have some birds, and um, off in the distance there would be that um, unique triangular structure is the Augustus Victoria, part of the hospital network of East Jerusalem. That meandering concrete structure there is the barrier. Other side is Abu Dis. And then coming down here, we have the Mount Zion Hotel. This slope leads down to the old city and the police are frequently doing their speed traps and ticketing operations here. So Jerusalem is at once a one of the oldest cities in the world, a historical city and simultaneously a city just like any other city where you can get a speeding ticket and uh, whatever else you do. Hi guys, this is Daniel Rosal here. Hope you've been enjoying the videos on my YouTube channel. I live in Jerusalem, which is one of the most interesting and ancient cities of the world. If you've been enjoying these videos and there's somewhere in Jerusalem or in Israel that you've always wanted to see, particularly somewhere that's not so much on the uh, tourist path, I mean, please drop me a comment in any of the videos or in this video and uh, I'll do my best to make an interview happen. I'll do my best to check somewhere, somewhere out. And thank you for watching. If you'd like to get more videos like this, please subscribe to this channel.